Thousands of school children marched through downtown Bastyr in the 2024 Independence National Youth Rally, which ended at Warner Park, where Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew addressed the students and launched the anticipated financial program for students called Aspire. The program is designed for all students, with 50% of the grant being invested in local companies, bringing returns to students over several years. Prime Minister explained to the Federation students how the program will be helpful for them over the years. That on this Independence Day, this celebration of the 41st anniversary of independence, every single youth or child between the ages of 5 and 18, you will receive $1,000. All of you. And this program is really to help you, the youth. We want to make sure that we do what is necessary to get rid of poverty. We want to make sure that when you grow up, you have resources to chart your own course. We want to make sure that even if your parents have difficulties, that you can have a brighter future. And that is why we say, Every youth will be a part of the Aspire program, and each of you will get $1,000. Children, I want to also say that this money has two functions. Are we going to use it in two ways? One, $500 you would use to put in an account with your name. It's your own money. It's not your parents' money. It's not your guardian's money. It is your money. Your account will have on your name. And on that account, the first account, we will deposit $500 in cash for all of you who are here with us, all of our youths between 5 and 18. And then the other $500, we are going to use that to invest in companies so the youths of St. Kitts and Nevis will earn part of National Bank. You will earn part of the cable. You will earn part of local companies here in St. Kitts and Nevis. So even before you are 18, guess what? You're making money. You are making money. And that is what we want for you, the youths of St. Kitts and Nevis. The students were also addressed by Minister Conris Maynard, who asked the students to take an oath against violence and by Minister Isolin Philip, who encouraged students to strive to be productive, peaceful, and patriotic citizens. Then about reporting for SK Newsline.